Okay, hello again. Welcome to another edition of Real Our Guide. We sent another beer by www.belgianbeershop.com. Check them out. This is a beer from uh, De La Brasserie Dupont. And I'd like to introduce Chris, who's going to introduce the beer. Yeah. Real Element 140 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. There we go. And Google Plus. You can read it yourself. I've had enough of embarrassing myself in Belgium today. Um, okay, so this is. Uh, the beer is refermente re in bottle, which I means it gets in this a live yeast culture in the bottle. Yeah. Um, guessing it's a lamb beer again. Another lambic, 9.5% ABV on this one, and it's a bon. bons. Bon, a bon vo vo I think. Bon vo uh, de la brasserie du pont. Mm. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe. We can go with that. Right, another cage on this one. So, very lively, kind of. I'm sure they've they've got it more than um, Brooklyn Brewery. Oh. Wow, wow, wow! Bit Excellent of bit of pop. Always twist the bottle, not the cork. Cork. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Let's get this in there. Then. Now this is more the Ooh. kind of what you'd expect a beer to look like. Excellent, thank you very much. Wow. Now the last one we had was a deep, deep red colour. Yeah. 2010 quart. I'm just going to show you that. It looks like it's been aged for two, well, if you're speaking next month, it'd be three years old. Mm. Or if you're watching this next year, it's three years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, loads of carbonation. Hordes of it. Absolutely hordes of carbonation. Loads of carbonation. Fluffy white head. Yep. Very the head's white. actually there's that much carbonation for me. The head's actually building. Mm. It's one of them kind of building heads. Fluffy white head, as Chris mentioned. Slightly hazy. It yeah. won't be. It won't be a hop haze. I don't imagine. It'll <laughs> be a kind of maybe a yeasty haze. A couple of little bits floating around in there, but nothing. Nothing you wouldn't be able to handle. Oh, it's very live. I reckon this is going to be a bit of a monster. It's 9.5 percent. If we got a nose on this one. Really fruity again. Yeah, yeah. I've got a thicker is. head, which is. I'm getting know, apples, pears, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm getting yeah, things. I reckon it's going to be one for the taste. Yeah. Should we dig in? Let's dig in. Nine and a half percent. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Cheers Mark. What is that? That's pears. It's got to be pears. Oh, how, oh wow, and how bitter on the end. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That, for me, has been smoothed out completely by the aging process of this beer. From it being 2010, mm. it's almost so smooth. Through that, it's almost, you can taste the aging process. It's, it's so you thick. Taste the wood, right? is it, is this yeah, stored yeah. in wood in a barrel? And left to ferment that way? I imagine so. Stone I'll have a look in a moment, but yeah, this this kind of. Let us know if you know. Mm. I, mm. I'm getting. It's it's a it's not like a you know, we had we had a kind of a raspberry kind of character in the last one. This is much more of a pedestrian fruit, I think. Yeah, a much more of a beer as well. Would you say? Yeah. Much more of a beer. You'd identify this as a beer should somebody pour out in the pub. This is probably one of the best lambics I've tried. Mm. Um, it, it's it's really quite beautiful. Um, to I'm picking up toffee. Yeah, there's something sweet in there. Mm. Maybe maple syrup, that kind of end of things. Burnt caramel, but not not so much. Burnt brown get... sugar. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. Brown sugar, uh, demerara sugar. It's not like not like the finished products and the, 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 like getting a Christmas beer from Shepherd Neem or something like that. Yeah, it's it's just very much its raw character is. <sighs> yeah, this is um, this is going down quickly. I'm going to give you some more of this. You want to save some of the ladies. Save a little bit for the ladies. Yeah, get in trouble otherwise. But I, I, oh, I want some more of this. Yeah. This is this is really kind of tasty. Mm. Very very smooth. Um, it's the, as I say, the head's building with the carbon, with the sediment. 
combination even. Yeah. Doesn't give loads away on the nose, even that. No. No. Um, there's a slight vanilla, toasted vanilla kind of. Yes. Hits it now. That mixed with the demerara kind of brown sugar. Yeah. Is. And then that fruit. The fruit is the background flavour of this. With the with the uh, raspberry one we had, it, it was Prom very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you're getting kicked in the face by yeah, some yeah. of the ton of raspberries. Yeah. This is this is much more subtle. And incredible that it's the percent ABV it is, and it's, it's not kind of. It doesn't. It, there's no unpleasantness in, in terms of drinking it. Yeah, this is stronger than special people. No. Yeah, yeah. Nine point five percent. Um, really, really good beer. Toffee. Mm. Hints of banana. There's there's, there's demerara sugar. Brown sugar. And Chris said the uh, the vanilla. Yeah. It's fruity. It's got a creme brulee kind of yeah. note to it. Yeah. 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 That's where I am with this. This, this for me is an excellent beer. I'm not sure what I do with it, whether it's a standalone, you know, kind of a, a you know, your one treat before bed, or I don't think, I, for me, this doesn't sit with a meal as well as the, the highly fruity mm. one. But you could sit there and savour this for an awful long time. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. One to kind of, if you have a visitor that you haven't seen for a long time, one to crack out the cupboard and say, give this a go. Yeah, give this yeah, a go. That yeah. kind of, that kind of, this beer. is what I'm doing with my life now. Beer, beer with chums. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm doing much better than you. <laughs> um, Chris, final thoughts on a rating from you then, from this uh, lovely smooth collection of flavours. Absolutely brilliant. Yep. I'm, I'm going to go slightly higher than the last one. Um, strangely, although I like the flavour of the last one a bit more, I think the the complexity of this just, just pips it for me. I'm going to go eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yeah, I think that's more or less spot on. Yeah, it's um, it's one of them. If you were in Belgium, because I, 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 a few people have told me this, you go to a Belgium cafe bar, you ask for a beer, and it comes out, and you start drinking it, and it, and then the waiter tells you after you've drunk it that was a nine percent beer. It's that type of yeah. Oh my goodness me, that that was nine point five percent. I could catch you out really badly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could because you could have had two if we before I hit you. Absolutely, so again I'm going to join Chris on an 8.5 out of 10. Um, really good beer, thanks to www.belgiumbeershop.com for sending me the beer. Um, I've got some more for you in the future. Um, probably share some with Chris as well. Chris has been really busy, I know he hasn't been on the channel much lately but he's been busy with work but I understand that he can come on a little bit more now in the future. So, probably seeing you. Good Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching me The Real Little Guy, thanks right. for Chris for joining me and cheers. <laughs>